What's up, guys? Classy Metal here. Uh, before I get into, I guess, the uh, the meat and potatoes of this video, I got a little bit of a proud father moment. Uh, my son actually uh, made this for me in school the other day. It's a uh, Crip Sermon logo type deal. I'm slowly leading him in, winning him, winning him over with metal, uh, kind of steering him away from the five-finger death punch type stuff and disturbed, which that's okay. It's all... I mean, if that's what he wants to listen to, that's fine, but I'm slowly uh, introducing him to some of the things that I enjoy, and he seems pretty open to that, so I've been pretty excited about that so far, something that we can bond over. I have to give a special thank you to the pe people over at the Metalhead Box, because they put the newest release from Crypt Sermon, The Ruins of Fading Light. It came in a uh, Metalhead Box last year, and uh, without that, I may not have even purchased that album. And I absolutely fell in love with that release, and it was actually my number one album of the year last year. If you missed that video, shameless plug, it will be linked up in the description. Definitely go check that out. Uh, that being said, we took a trip at Christmas to go visit my wife's family. So there was a, a bit of a, a haul, a road trip type deal. And uh, I took that Crip Sermon album on that, on that trip. And at one point during the uh, road trip, he had taken his headphones off and was listening to what I was listening to in the, in the car. He's like, what is this? I enjoy it. And he started listening to it. And then he come in from school the other day and had uh, Crip Sermon playing. The CD is actually missing on my shelf. I just checked. So he must have uh, snuck in here at some point and stole my CD. So it's probably in his room. But that's okay. I'm glad that uh, he's kind of broaden, broadening his horizons a little bit. So thank you to Melissa and uh, Robert and the folks over at the Metalhead Box for sending that CD my way because it was definitely a winner from last year. You may be wondering why I'm mentioning the Metalhead Box. A lot of you know about the Metalhead Box, and you know that they offer the uh, monthly subscription service sending, you know, just a, a box of all kinds of goodies to your to your house every month. But a lot of you don't know that they offer other things as well. You can go to their website, and uh, they offer, sometimes they have shirts from past boxes that they're selling, just the shirts. Uh, they have CDs listed on that on that website. You can pit, order pins and that type of stuff. I actually think right now they have a uh, five dollar flash sale going on quite a bit of stuff. So definitely, I will link up the Metalhead Box uh, website in the description because if you didn't know that, you might want to go check that out. They may have some stuff on there that uh, you're into. One of the things that I like on that website every once in a while when I when I have a wild hair growing. I want to pick up one of these little grab bags that they have. There's a uh, four CD grab bag, and it's ten dollars before shipping. I mean, four CDs for ten bucks shipping. I think shipping from the Canada to the U.S. was like ten dollars. So four C four CDs for twenty dollars total. Uh, it's worth a stab. I've done one of these already in the past, and I got some really good stuff in it. So I figured, what the heck, I'll give it another go. As I said, it's four CDs, $10 plus shipping. So if you're actually in Canada, you can probably get it even cheaper than what I did. But if you know me at all, you know I'm always into the grab bags, mystery boxes, and that type stuff. I actually have another mystery box. I'm not going to be opening it on this video. Uh, you'll have to wait till probably a little bit later in the week to see this. This is a, a death metal uh, CD grab bag that I'm going to be opening from Red Stream Records. It will probably be around Thursday or Friday. Well, it took what's today? Wednesday. It'll probably be Friday before Friday or Saturday before I get that one uploaded. I don't want to just completely, completely wear you guys out with uh, material. I have a stack of other stuff that has come in as well. So there's going to be no shortage. I know I say that almost every video, and I hope I can continue saying that in the future, that there's not going to be any type of shortage for material on this channel because you guys seem to be enjoying it. I'm, I'm enjoying getting the new stuff. Also, I have a giveaway going. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't joined in on that, I am giving away a copy of Frost Giant, the Harlot Star. I have an album spotlight video with a giveaway going. Right now, I will probably keep that giveaway going for another week or so, so uh, definitely go get in on that if you have not done so. I will also link that one up in the description as well. All right, after a little bit of struggle and ripping this uh, envelope to shreds, we are in there. There's just a little packing receipt. Toss that in the trash. Uh, first CD, I have absolutely no idea what this is. Maybe some of you that know what this is can shed some light for me. This is a uh, Chemicide with Inequality. 
Definitely has a very thrashy vibe going on. Uh, this was released on PRC Music. It's a label that uh, kind of comes in spurts for me. I, I, I find material, as I said, I guess in spurts. I'll find something, you know, in a few months span where I, I'm like, man, I'm digging everything they put out, and then they just kind of fall off my radar for a bit. Definitely looks to be thrash metal to me. Don't know much about it. As I said, if some of you know a little bit more or know anything about it, I guess, uh, definitely jump in the comments and let me know because it'll probably be a little bit before I even have a chance to check some of this stuff out. Looks pretty cool, though. I like the artwork, uh, but it definitely has that thrashy vibe going on to me. Uh, next up, we have Palmistry with uh, Behold. This is on Temple of Ministry Records. This either has to be uh, black metal or doom metal. I mean, it, it could go either way. Almost has a doomy vibe going on. and uh, But I, I'm digging that artwork quite a bit. Looks like this was released uh, last year, so fairly new release right here. That's one thing about this grab bag from Metalhead uh, Box. You're gonna a lot of times you're gonna get some pretty new releases in this. You're not just getting old junk that's been sitting on someone's uh overstock shelf for for years you're getting actually some pretty new releases and some pretty stellar material as well so definitely looking forward to check this one out just from the artwork as i said this is a palmistry with behold next up it looks like we've got some death metal uh this is zoth x-o-t-h with interdimensional invocations if i had to guess i would say that this is probably leaning towards uh, technical death metal, uh, maybe brutal technical death metal, but I really don't know. This is another one. I'm finding all types of new stuff uh, through this grab bag. This was released in, this was released last year as well in 2019 from uh, Creature of the Northwest. So another one. Uh, if you guys know anything about all any of these that I've shown, because I feel kind of kind of dumb because I don't know. <laughs> anything about them definitely uh please jump in those comments and get some conversation started and let me know what to expect the artwork on this one looks phenomenal they actually put five cds in this so maybe i think it was a four cd grab bag but i think they were generous enough to give me an extra cd so thank you guys for that uh this one is crucidist with the unholy craft or the unholy grail unholy grail there we go that is some uh, wicked looking artwork. Just the artwork alone has me wanting to check this out. This looks like doom metal, but once again, I am not sure. I don't see a label or anything on this, so. But this is some wicked looking stuff. I may have to come back and do another video later and kind of give a synopsis or something uh, of some of these. I may just jump on uh, the Facebook. If you're not following my Facebook, definitely go do that. The uh, Classy Lonnie Metal classy, yeah, uh, Facebook. I have an Instagram. I doubt I will go into too much detail on these. And on the Instagram, I may post a picture. Uh, next up, we have uh, Sanctus with Moore's Eternia. This was released on Sepulchral Productions out of Canada. Uh, this is some black metal, and this looks pretty nasty. I have not heard this release. This was released, I'm not saying a year, but I think uh, it was pretty recent. Uh, it has not been out just too terribly long. I think it came out last year, maybe possibly 2018. But I think this is another 2019 release. All in all, this stuff looks pretty good. I can't just, uh, I don't know if I showed the front. I just can't get into too much detail about what the stuff was that I received because I really just don't know, but I'm pretty excited because I have some new stuff to check out. That does not happen very often. A lot of times I either get stuff that I already own when I do grab bags, mystery boxes, or that I get stuff that I'm somewhat familiar with, but they actually stumped me today. They did a good job. The only one that uh, I'm remotely familiar with would be this release here. Uh, I don't think I've heard that one, but I've heard things about it. But these, these four, completely new. So looking forward to checking that out. Thank you guys over the Metalhead Box. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, yeah, definitely go check that Metalhead Box website out if you have not done so. As I said, it'll be linked up. They got all kinds of stuff. I know they have uh, some of the tribute pins and stuff going for like five bucks. And there was some other stuff I was looking at it earlier. Some other stuff that kind of caught my eye. 
I love doing these little grab bags here because I always get quality material on these. I, I highly recommend these. If you're looking for a grab bag type deal and you're afraid you're just going to get junk, this is one that you might want to check out because they usually put newer stuff and they usually put high quality stuff in these grab bags. That's all I've got for today. Like I said, I have this Red Stream Death Metal Mystery Box coming up. I will probably do that Friday or Saturday. And I have a stack of stuff sitting off to the side that you cannot see. And I'm waiting on some other stuff to come in. I think I'm just going to do one big collection update video with all of that stuff. So that's all for today. Stay classy. Stay metal. I will see you all very soon. I promise.